This is Inside the Wolf's Den, an entrepreneurial journey with Sean and Joni Wolfswinkle. Welcome back to Inside the Wolf's Den with your host, Sean and Joni Wolfswinkle. How are you, Joni? I'm awesome. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. Thank you. Mr. Uh, wonderful. Mr. Wonderful. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Wolf. Um, so what are we talking the, the, about today? <laughs> my mind went somewhere else. Uh, I, it we went to, cause I, I, got, I got a bunch of text messages this past week about, um, so it, it, I'm, I, if you don't know, I, I won a state championship in basketball my senior year. And uh, I think we all know that. And they're having a, they're having a 25th anniversary uh, at the, uh, in March on the uh, state championship basketball game that's coming up for uh, the kids now the anyways but it's a 25th anniversary and so i got all these texts wondering if i got the invitation and all that stuff. but they all reach out to me the wolf the wolf and so they're still known as so i got all these the wolf this week and, yeah you know, so well taking it back what you're talking about the state championship right so he sean takes out his gym bag from I don't even know how long this is. I guess how long ago was this? Like two thousand ish, twenty three years ago, four years ago. Yeah, I still had my same shoes. He still had his same shoes, guys. I laced them up in the bag. And I'm like, why did he goes to basketball practice with the kids? I'm like, why didn't you just take those out and put them on and start hooping? I'm like, twenty five after twenty five years, they're broken. Keeps their tennis shoes after twenty five years. I'm curious. I do. They meant a lot. It's the state championship shoes. Um, I know that. I still have my underwear. So oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Moving let's on. get to, yeah, let's get to uh, let's get to business. Um, no. So today we're going to talk about uh, kind of along those lines, right? Uh, inside the inside the life of the Wolf Swinkles. So um, not that we're putting ourselves on a high pedestal or anything like that, but uh, it's nothing crazy. <laughs> it's nothing <laughs> fancy. Um, yeah, luckily, our name stands out. But the uh, um, we're going to answer three questions that Joni and I, you know, as we travel places, meet people, um, interact, network and stuff. A lot of sim- there's common questions that we get. And, th- and these are our top three questions that we commonly get asked mm-hmm. everywhere we go. And, and I thought it'd be cool just to answer these. And, yeah. and I think just answer them for the folks. I think it would, I think people, I, I think we always look for topics that people we, we, we right. feel people would be interested in. And if we get asked this a lot, then mm-hmm. people are obviously interested. So. Um, you know, the first one was, uh, how do you all manage so much? I think people, especially with social media these days, see a lot of our, yes. uh, Joni loves to post. You won't see much from me. <laughs> I'm just tagged along. I'm usually in the behind the camera, but, mm-hmm. uh, they want to know like, man, how are you guys like here? You're here, you're there. How are you managing like family work, working out events, travel? Like they just, it, it's hard for them to conceptualize like. Mm-hmm. managing all that and then you know we have multiple businesses and so it's it's it trust me there's and we'll get into this there's there's no easy solution Mm-mm. there's not an easy button um and and we're not it, it's going to surprise the people because it's simple but uh um i just think people are like or like how are you doing it all yeah and and they can't fathom it at all right? yeah and so uh we're gonna answer that and we're getting into it the second one is uh how do you guys work together you know, as a, as a couple, how do you stay married to mm-hmm. each other and work together and, and, and manage all that and see each other on a day to day? It's just that we can't, they right. can't yeah. comprehend that. And so, and then the third one is, um, you know, we get, not that we're, we're nowhere near financially kind of where we want to be or, or some of the, the influencers mm-hmm. out there and we're not at their level, but people get asked a lot. It's like, Hey, we want to get to your level someday, or we want to get to, to be mm-hmm. uh, where you guys are, you, what advice would you have for us? Especially like couples and if they're just starting out, they're younger. Yeah. And so I think they, <laughs> they get asked that. So we're, we're going to answer those three questions and um, hopefully add some value to you and, and get some uh, takeaways. So let's get into it. So how, yeah. how do you manage, Joni, to manage all that you do, all your posts, all your traveling everywhere, <laughs> and working out every morning and, uh, you know, kids games, throughout the day and, and, uh, kids events, how do you manage it mm-hmm. and manage to work? Lots of, lots of discipline for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was actually talking about this to somebody else the other day, because I remember a time where it wasn't always like this. I remember 
2015, 2016, um, I was doing a lot of the business myself, right? Like everything was coming to me. Mm -hmm. Didn't really have a leadership team, didn't really have a team. Um, and I was controlling, I think you can say that as well. You know, we were, contro we controlled a lot of things mm -hmm. and didn't really open my eyes until I was overstretched. I, I had Mila and I was like, oh my gosh, like running this business and doing all these things. Like how can I manage being a mom, but then also being a business owner, which I wanted, you know, I wanted both. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I realized, hey, like you need to do something different, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, that's honestly, I started hiring people, trusting people, which was hard. Mm -hmm. Delegation was really, really hard at the very beginning, mm -hmm. you know, adding virtual assistants into the business mm -hmm. to the point of like today it's, it runs smoothly. Like my team pretty much handles everything. So I'm out there doing what I love, which is, you know, teaching people and mentoring and, um, all that I do, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to do that without having the team that I have. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I think the first, the, the one that answers is, the, the first answer is, has always been our team. Right? Yeah. The, 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 you cannot effectively, if for work wise, mm -hmm. you know, manage, um, and even our home team, because I would consider our nanny and all that right. kind of our home team. So our, it's without our team members that we are able to do what we do. Like, there's no way we could do it no. otherwise. So, you know, we, yes, I think our team, our delegation, Brett, everybody that works for us, that they, they allow us to do some of those freedoms to do other things that maybe we just wouldn't have time. Right. For, right. And like taking the ego out of it, thinking, you know what, like I am the one that has to do everything. Like I do it better than everybody. So I'm going to take that on. And I think as a mom, I did that as well early on. Like, why do I need a nanny? Like mm -hmm. I can cook you dinner. I can wash your clothes, even though like you told me like, you know, Martha's like folding <laughs> is amazing and that you wanted her, you wanted to hire her for her folding. <laughs> right. <laughs> and so initially I'm like, well, what do you mean? Like, you mean you don't like my folding that like, you don't like the food that I cook you, but wrong with it. no, but at the end of the day, I'm thinking, you know what? Like, I need to give myself grace that, yeah, there are people that can do better things than I can and smarter employees than I am. And that's what you want. At the end of the day, you want smarter people to work for you, mm -hmm. right? Because truly that's how you're able to grow and scale your business. And now I go home and I'm able to spend time with the kids at night because everything else is taken care of. Mm -hmm. So I can truly have both worlds just by being more efficient in letting my ego go. I agree. I think uh, another point that I wrote down to this was um, that, that when I said, uh, I, I think a simple answer. Um, so number one is a great team. Number two is, um, you know, how we're able to manage it all is it, it really just comes down to very structured mm -hmm rigid and disciplined routines yep. and i just and that and i think people like gloss over that and like yeah like but they don't get it like we it, we're <laughs> like we're very structured and 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 we, that's not for everybody not everybody can do that they a lot of people have to have the freedom to be able to do whatever they want like you guys like like we don't we if if i want to go out with to drinks with a girlfriend like I have to plan out like 30 days in advance, mm -hmm. right? That's just how it goes. Mm -hmm. And some people aren't willing to make that sacrifice. So, yeah. And, it, and we don't quite have that freedom to be able to just like, I mean, we can and can't. And we and something we get asked a lot when it goes in this line to this is like, well, you guys are business owners. Why, why don't you, well, let's go golf tomorrow. Like, why aren't you golfing tomorrow? And it's like, well, I, and, and, and this isn't for everybody, but this is the truth. Mm-hmm in order to get all this stuff done in a day, I don't have, our calendars are pretty full like, yeah. and, it, and we don't have a lot of freedom to just, now we can plan it. I can plan it for next week or maybe Joni might be two weeks out, but like we can plan something and get in the books, mm -hmm. but to uh, just drop something and go, it, it there, there's opportunities we could reschedule and make something happen. But for the most part, we're not going to, cause mm -hmm. it's, it's going to, it's going to mess up our routine. Right. And so, and, and that's, and if that's not for you or you say, Hey, no, I want that freedom. I want to be able to be spontaneous and all that. that. Cool. That's all you, but then you might not be able to get everything. You not, might not be able to run 
a bunch of businesses and have family and get your workout in and and manage and juggle everything mm-hmm. and coach your kids and and be at every ball game but there's it comes with it, right. there's sacrifices yeah, somewhere yeah absolutely and i think like for us what we're, like we have non-negotiables right mm-hmm. like so we have buckets and those buckets those are the things that we have to do every single day no matter what mm-hmm. right and so if you have extra time you know then you can throw some of those things in there. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, we live by our structured schedule. <laughs> yeah. And we're just, our, our, right now, our, our non-negotiables is typically each other, our family, work. Health and fitness, health and, fitness and spiritual. And then, and, and some, and then, but also like, you know, we'll put some travel and stuff yeah. like that. And, and you do events and and but it's usually like something around business focus on right it. and but, but there's the, still also structure around that as well right correct, which correct. what works for us i mean you know yeah i would like to go out to more events but i know that reality i can only do about a one or two a month right correct, correct. To, to keep it just keeps the sanity in our marriage right. and everything else and so we we but this has all come by travel uh, uh, learning by by uh doing right yeah. and then we just you know we've we've tested it like hey if she has a if she's trying to go to one networking event a week it's probably pushing it mm-hmm. or especially two it's like no that, that's just it puts too much stress on me i'm trying to juggle too much stuff at home and and work yeah. and it's no and it's, as a couple you need to you know you need to know what your boundaries are as mm-hmm. well so and communicate that so if you're feeling oh man, like this is, this is more than I, you know, signed up for, then talk about it. Mm-hmm. Right. Because obviously it's not working for somebody. Mm-hmm. And so we have to get realigned, figure out what each other's needs are be- and, and reset really. And I would just give hope out there that this is not, did not happen by uh, that doesn't happen by chance and it doesn't happen overnight. No, so like this is it's, it's literally just, 24. I mean, we've been working together 24 years, yes. but we've, we've been, been together. Married, we've been married 20 and we've been together 27. So this is a long time of figuring out what works and what mm-hmm. doesn't work. And so it's not, um, it does, just doesn't happen overnight and it doesn't happen by chance because we plan it out. We discuss it. We tell each other what works, what doesn't work for us. And so you're going to have to each, but in this, all of these points are, is you're going to figure out your own rhythm, your own, right. but, and what works for you in your life and your mm-hmm. non-negotiables and your, uh, uh, priorities. But it, for us, this is just how we accomplish it. So in order for us to accomplish all this, this is what we have to do. And so it might not work for everybody, but, um, right. And, and so, and there's going to be major sacrifices that come with this. So you just somewhere you're going to have to sacrifice something, uh, in order and so for us, a lot of times it's, it's, um, I'll, we're not able to do a lot with friends or, um, we don't have really great, like, I don't have buddies that I go out with on all the time. It, it, we just don't do that. Cause yeah. if, if we go out, it's going to be with each other or a date night or something mm-hmm. like that, or someone with mm-hmm. the kids right now. Um, maybe when we're up to nesters, we can go there, but right now in our stage, um, and that's, that was a point I wanted to bring up was this is hard for me more so than you, Joni, but, uh, uh, I'm one of those people that likes to create the system, create the process, and then and just expect or think that okay, it's created, <laughs> it's never going to change, and it's good. This is the way it's going to be. And it's like, well, life happens, mm-hmm. life changes, things, things, things happen, yeah. And so, like, we got to You got to. It's going to change over time too, and it might have worked last year, but it might not work this year yeah. because I don't know. You may something else in your schedule might dictate that is a priority to you that might have to affect one of the other priorities. Yes, which I think is a problem for a lot of, I mean, it's not just you. I think right. everybody struggles with that, you know, like, yeah, I mean, change is hard for everybody, you know, and I think that's, you and I work well together because you are, are like that. And I'm just like, whatever happened, let's just go. Right. And so I think it, it we kind of, balance each other out yeah so i mean it might be a change in the job it might be your kid starts a new sport and that requires two extra practices at night and it might change your schedule and you have to adapt to what, right. how do you how am i going to still fit this in or do i have to give do i have to sacrifice something else uh in order to get that and then and then i would have very um something else we didn't mention was having discipline um uh schedules or maybe mm-hmm. this, maybe this was in the next one um 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's interesting in the next one. So the, the next question, we'll move on to the next question, was how do you guys work together as spouses and make it work as a couple? Um, and, and I highly recommend you listen to episode 135. Mm-hmm. We, uh, we had an episode on working with your spouse. Is it right for you? Is it the right fit? Is it the right, right thing to make? So we went into a lot of detail there, but um, just some high level stuff. Um, you know, we get asked a lot about working with each other. Um, this first and foremost, it's not easy. No. And if you listen to episode 135, it's like, just know you're, it's going to come with a lot more challenges. So if, if you don't want challenge, do you want to add additional challenges to them? Go work with each other. Because <laughs> there's some great, there's some very, there's some awesome things about it. It's it, There's some wonderful things about it, but it does come with more challenges. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So not, not, for, not for me, of course, just, just, she brings a lot of challenges. I bring a lot of challenges. I mean, so many, well, we were that. this morning, we were actually looking at both of our predictive indexes. I was like, oh yeah, this is like spot on. Like yeah. I openly challenge people, you know? And yeah. so, um, but yeah, so. Thank it, you for admitting it yeah. <laughs> on camera. We're recording this. So I will hold you to that, but, uh, yeah, there's a lot you can learn, um, about each other through the predictive index and about how you work together. But, Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I highly recommend you take a look at that, but the, uh, (laughs) yeah, but you really, the big thing is communication, which you hear all the time. Communication is key. Um, we still struggle at times to communicate effectively with each other. We still have disagreements. Even after all these years, we, Mm -hmm. we still, there's still, you know, points or, um, um, open wounds there's 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 triggers yeah and you got to be aware and you got to be aware of your triggers yeah. absolutely yeah and, and just be uh uh and know that and just so know to going in and but just communicate work through them um we we have clearly defined roles and responsibilities at both at home and at work yes and i think, and I think that probably is key i think communication yes it's it's at the top as well but finding your roles and responsibilities um is huge for us i think that's probably the only way we've been able to make it right Right. is because we clearly defined that early on like what what i was good at what you were good at and we kind of conquered that way right um and there was truly only one leader really you know so you led texas turnkey properties had nothing to do with that Mm -hmm. right and so um I think knowing your roles is, is pretty big. And if you don't know that, if you're thinking about working together, I think that's something that you really, really need to sit down and discuss. And, and discuss if, if, if there's a, if you, if you come to head to head, who's going to make the The decision at the end of the day, who's the tiebreaker. Um, I think is important. I think uh, discuss through those. I know it sounds all great right now, but discuss some of those difficult conversations because they will come up. No. Just and close. as you grow in scale, it's it's funny because like when we start off in business, I think that I was probably a little less challenging, right? Mm-hmm. Then and as I, <laughs> it's an as, yeah, <laughs> and as we you know grow in scale, I have more of an opinion. So things just change over time, you know. And so I think you have to be aware of that, and you have to come to common ground, which it's it's t- it's not easy at all. It's not. Nope. <laughs> so we'll move on and just uh, learn to respect each other. Yes. And then respect each other's strengths and weaknesses. I know. Uh, um, Acknowledge I, I, what the other person is saying. Yeah. <laughs> Joni has a lot of uh, great strengths and uh, very few weaknesses. Um, <laughs> but she's got some great strengths and I rely on her for those. She's got, she's great on the phone. She's great with communicating. She, and uh, she can have those difficult conversations and, 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 and execute them very well. And so it's always been a strength in our business and, and, uh, highly respect her for that. And I know I've never doubted ever that if she's going to get on the phone with somebody or, and, and speak to a client, a difficult vendor, whatever she's, it, they might not agree all the time each with each other, but I know she's going to handle it right with the business. Mm -hmm. And so it's, I have a tremendous amount of respect for her in the business world as a businesswoman, And, uh, I've never, I might not always show the appreciation that I should as a husband um, or acknowledgement. I shouldn't, I should acknowledge those more often. Oh, you're sweet. <laughs> and I need to work on that. Something I need to work on, but I know I have a ton of confidence and that's never been an issue in, right. in yeah. working with each other. So it, you just learn to compliment mm-hmm. each other well. Yeah. And same with you. I think you're really with the finances. Like I don't, don't give me the accounting part of it mm-hmm. or the finance part of it. We'd be broke. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but you um, are really good with that. And we both acknowledge what our strengths are, right? Yeah. And trust and, and support are vital. It just, you gotta, you gotta develop that trust and, yeah, and, and absolutely. really respect the other person. Um, and, and this might, you know, if, if somebody puts you in a bad situation or you have a spouse that maybe ran a business in the ground, it might be hard. I and mean, maybe we're not, you know, mm-hmm. uh, and, and it's not like I haven't made very poor financial choices mm-hmm. either. We've, we've made, we've done You're some very, very smart with it, but yeah. no, we've made some bad deals though. Yeah, we, I know we, that, we, but we've, we've made some poor decisions or poor things that luckily didn't, didn't uh, hurt us or bankrupt us or anything like that. But it was like, you know, you, you, we've lost money on stuff um, because you, but you buy things you, you shouldn't, <laughs> you learn from it and, and you've not, you have not torn me apart about them and no. not lost my, you've trusted me still and known that that's, Hey, that's part of business. Right. We're going to make some mistakes along the way. I'm going to still support you. Yeah. At the end of the day, I mean, it, regardless of the outcome, like that's what we chose and yeah. we're moving forward. Yeah. Right. And it, and, uh, you know, as far as us working together and making it work, mm-hmm. you know, we, we believe in, in date nights and, time together. I think it's, it's a struggle. Sometimes I think as a parent, um, we're away from our kids so much already as, as, at work. And yet we choose to take, you know, often trips and stuff together as, a, as parents, um, uh, as, as, as couple, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. and don't always bring our kids and we don't on a lot of things. Be, and it's just cause, and, and this is hard. And I think mm-hmm. a, lot of, a lot of, uh, I think parents or couples struggle with this too. It's, it's not, it's, it's hard on the kids. We try to spend a lot of time with the kids and not spend a lot. Of, but at the same time, like. You need the time we, we, alone. Correct. Yeah. Joan and I, we work together every day. We just need to get like out of work, out of, and just really focus on each other without the kids and stuff like that and those obligations. And even though the kids are fun to be on with vacation stuff, so there's time for I just, mm-hmm. they're also like, they need to be entertained or right. we need to do stuff with them. And so there's this time that like, we need each other. And so we, we, we were really, cause without, if we don't work on each other, then, then that leads sometimes to where you're raising kids with in a broken home and we mm-hmm. don't want that either. So like, it's, even though we might not spend as much time with, we can with them. There's ob- there's time we're spending to, with each other. Yeah, that no, makes it makes a, a lot of sense. And I think <clears throat> that, that, and that sometimes can be hard for couples that work together as well, because, you know, when you go away or you go home, like work comes with you. Right. And so you have to really be aware, like totally disengage yourself from that and be in the moment, be present and in the moment, no matter which, and that's what I've learned too. like be where your feet are at. Right. right? Mm-hmm. If you're, if you're spending time with your spouse, like that's what you're doing at that moment. Mm-hmm. Not work. You're not talking about work, and that and that can be challenging. But it, it's we're, uh, we're not perfect. No, yet. and we're not. We still struggle. With it, it. Yeah, but being aware of it, at least it will help you to disengage and to be, you know, more mindful of what's important. I agree. Um, and then the last point was like, hey, I want to, you know, I'm starting out in business. We're 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 a couple that's maybe, you know, a few years ahead of, of, or younger than us. And they're wanting to get to, yes, they want to travel more. They want to make more money. They want nicer things. They want to get to it, but yet still maintain a good marriage and, and have a good family life and all that. So like, how are we get like advice that we can, that they want to know and stuff like that. And it's like, and it's, it's funny because we look at it and we're like, um, I wish I could show you <laughs> all the scars that I have in my back right now from all the, you know, stabs, battles, the, back. the wounds, the stabs in the back and, you know, everything in between. It's like, and, and I know it's hard because people see the good on, and that's the, you talked about how, you know, posting on social media, you only see the good and things and you don't really see, you know, all the other things. Right. And, but I mean, golly, if I can go back to you, 19 years old where it all started and where we're at today holy cow it's if you're willing to endure that uh good for you (laughs) (laughs) uh it is what made us today but at the same time like i there's not a lot of people that want to go through that Mm -hmm. and that's and that's the biggest i think disconnect with with the younger generation to um a lot of to to people that maybe have gotten a certain place in life is that 
there's a disconnect about how long it's going to take and how much how right. much you're going to have to endure yeah. to get there. And they're like, well, I, I shouldn't have to endure that. Yeah. Should, it's like, well, hey, unless you win the lottery, unless you, I think even some of the, the really successful business owners that uh, like Mark Zuckerberg, uh, all those guys, they've, they've endured a lot too that you just haven't seen. Yeah, it. And they've, they've, they've taken huge mm-hmm. amounts of risk mm-hmm. and it's worked. It just, and it worked really well for them. It's just the, there's everybody that I know that has ever been successful. Um, man, they had some, they have some stories. Yeah, and not, I'm not trying to like be a Debbie Downer and say like, oh, you're never going to, you know, because that's no, not no. it at all. Like you can totally do it. But I mean, it's, you got to be willing to be disciplined, you know, in everything that you do. And endure. And endure that. Yeah. And grit. It's just, it takes a lot of grit and a lot of endurance. A lot of failure. Yeah. Along the ways, like, you know, I, yeah, there were times where we wanted to quit and throw in the towel, but uh, you and I helped each other out. Like, no, get back up. Right. You having the support system of you and I, like, I know some people don't have that. And, and I cannot imagine yeah. going through all that we went through alone. Correct. Right. And I mean, there's points you're not going to be making any money for a very long time. And you're just like, why am I doing this? But uh, like, and it gets, it pays off, but it, uh, and but it I just it's yeah just I, rem- I remember when we oh. first moved here yeah. knocking on all those foreclosure pre foreclosure doors right yeah. only had fifteen to twenty thousand dollars in our bank account when we moved here so we knew that there was not really a plan B but I still went and got a job at night yeah at bartend at a bartend bartending just to make sure that we had extra cash correct and that was after we had had a successful run in another state. But and we you, had to start our business over yeah. and like you, you. And not that you want you, you, you didn't want me to do that, cool. but I felt that I had to do something and contribute to something. Right. But it's so, it, so it, it, we're not, yeah. Like not being Debbie downwards. I think everybody, uh, if you got enough grit, you got enough, you got the right strategy, the right business, the right, the job. right support. It, it could be a job. It doesn't, have to yeah. be, it could be working for somebody, but you're willing to p- pay your dues. And, and there's no way around it. You have to pay your dues. And that's what we're getting at is like anybody that's gotten to a certain level, uh, a certain promotion, they paid their dues. And it and the the reality of it all is it takes way longer than you think. Mm-hmm. Way longer. Trust me, like way longer. <laughs> I had extreme vision of where I wanted to be. But man, did it take so much longer than I thought it mm-hmm. might be. <laughs> uh, and it and and there was ups and downs along the way, tons of of them. And there was wins, and then there would be a followed by a, a down, you know. And like um, it was, it's not, it's not easy. And yeah. and I think a good print, like uh, the marshmallow principle that everybody's heard over and over, you know, like where they did that study where they took two kids, and they're like, they gave they they told them that you can have one marshmallow right now mm-hmm. or you can have two marshmallows in two in in two hours mm-hmm. you know and uh majority of the kids are going to take the one marshmallow now and 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 that's how we are in society and and yeah the kids that are willing to there were studies show that people that were willing to wait and wait for two marshmallows in two hours were way more successful in life because they had that that endurance D- and they're yeah. willing to wait they delayed were, gratification. They were dis- yeah delayed gratification and, mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. uh discipline and yeah. uh it's it's just like the in in life uh it, it, you have to have that mindset um and if you if you go in with that mindset and willing to wait and willing to discipline to uh pay your dues and do what it takes and work hard not just you can't just sit there on your butt and expect it to come to right. you later you still have to that's the crappy part is it? and that's what i think the marshmallow principle when they people use that story a lot they don't also emphasize in life you're going to, have to do that and work your butt off yes. and, and not always, not always is it clear where the, when or the outcome. Right. And sometimes it's like it, you're in a dark tunnel and you can't see no light at the end of the tunnel. And, and there like, were many of those times where we couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. No, and yeah. you're just like, I know it's that direction, but man, and yep. it's like, you're just, I'm, I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to keep enduring. I'm going to keep, and eventually the light is, mm-hmm. is seen. But it, the more you do that, you talked about this too, as a you know, rubber band, you, yeah. you stretch yourself, you know, over and over again. I, I remember when we started uh, like to the point where we started off, at 19 to today, like we can endure so much more, right? We're sure. like, it doesn't, it doesn't even phase us sometimes. Some of the things I'm like, man, we like, we've dealt with this already. Right. Yeah. Um, 
get hit with another lawsuit, served with another lawsuit. It's like, it's just right. another one. <laughs> Give it to the attorney. Yeah. But uh, no, it's a, it's just the the nature of the mm-hmm. business, and you just learn to uh, to stretch yourself. Stretch it. Yeah. yeah. So um, you know, from a business perspective, I think you have to be able to take calculated risks. Um, with with there's a chance that you might right lose up, it. You yeah. might fall flat on your face, but. Uh, you have to push yourself and get out of your comfort zone. I think that's uh, alongside of the discipline, the endurance, the grit, all that is you have to be able to get out of your comfort zone. Yeah. And, and we constantly, and that's that's it, what you're getting at with the rubber yeah. band, is just stretching yourself and being you know, adaptable and, and learning. And not being afraid to fail. I think a lot of times people, you know, don't take that next step to get out of their comfort zone because they're afraid to fail. Correct. Yeah. Just know you're going to fail. Like, you know, it's part of it. You learn. Yeah. You learn. And hopefully it doesn't completely wipe you out. But even if it does, you uh, you learned a lot mm-hmm. from that. I guarantee it. And you can start over. Yeah. Uh, life's not over. And you can uh, rebuild. And we we've, we we've know a lot of people that have, have really had success after their second, after their first failure. And they've, they've, they got it back up and mm-hmm. they did it all over again um, because they learned a lot from that first one. They yep. didn't, didn't wipe them out. So, but and then a good thing to do with that is, hey, find a mentor, find a colleague, find friends that can, that will have, is sincere and has your best interest. Right. And uh, um, they can guide you, mm-hmm. you know, somebody that's gone through it before, maybe somebody that's, that's ahead of mm-hmm. you and they can just guide you to that point. That That's always been a key to us. Absolutely. Um, is we, we constantly surround ourselves and, and try to uh, emulate or, or learn from people that are, are ahead 100%. of us. 100%. So I highly recommend that too if you want to, to be or work with somebody that, that uh, is ahead of you and then wants to, where you want to be. So hope that helped. I hope that was good. That was good. Yeah, Hopefully you got some good tips there. Um, a lot of value, I think. And um, give us your feedback. Yeah, we love it. Uh, we love to hear from you all. Um, we hope you're getting value. We're headed up on our, on our 200th episode. So we're pretty excited to celebrate that. So, uh, stay tuned for that in the next, uh, four weeks. Yes. So, uh, um, but otherwise I hope everybody's having a great 2024 start to the year and, uh, we'll see you all next week. See everyone. Take care. You've been listening to inside the wolf's den, an entrepreneurial journey with Sean and Joni Wolfswinkle. Tons of entrepreneurial podcasts are out there talking, talk, talk, talking. But Joni and Sean are living it every single day. Their portfolio now includes many franchises and medium sized businesses. We talk about the trials and motivators of successfully running a business. Join us again soon for another podcast. But until then, reach out on the website at InsideTheWolfsDen.com, on Facebook at Inside the Wolf's Den, on Instagram at Inside the Wolf Den. We'll see you again soon. This is Inside the Wolf's Den. We'll see you next time.